Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Chakshurun Militam Jena Tasma Isri Gurave Namaha Nama Vambishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamine Dinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Kauravani Pracharine Nirbise Sasunavadi Paschatya Dejotarine Bancha Galpataru Hasha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Sri Vasadhi Sri Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Narayanam Namaskritang Narang Chevanarotamam Deving Sarasatang Bhyasam Tatajay Mudaret Mukham Karati Bhatalang Pangulang Haita Giring Tatkripa Tamahang Bande Paramananda Madhavam Sri Guru Dhinatarinam Sri Chaitanya Iswaram. So yesterday we were hearing from Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter. We heard about the most famous verse, Sabai punsa paro dharma jata bhakti radhakcha jai, ahetu ki apratihata jaja atma suprasidati. Sutta Goswami, he had asked six questions to Sauna Krishi. So he is replying, six questions, anybody knows six questions, one out of six questions? What, you what have is done? a man supposed to do at the time of death? What should he have? No, that was asked by Parikhit Maharaj. First question was, I see, as I told yesterday, the whole Srimad Bhagavatam is a book of question and answer. Question answer between first took place between the Sauna Krishi, he was the head of 60,000 Rishis, Nami Saranya. He asked question to Sutta Goswami. Sutta Goswami. Uh, then the whole first canto, at the end, towards the end, Sutta Goswami is describing the real Bhagavad Katha starts by Sukadab Goswami on the basis of a question of Parikhat Maharaj that what we are saying my death is imminent and everyone's death is imminent what one should do? So prior to that there are many many question answers Devahuti, Kapila, Maitreya like that. So but uh, Saunak Rishi who was heading this 60,000 Rishis he asked six questions called Sat Prasna, six questions. The first question was, uh, please tell us what is Atantika. Atantika means the ultimate, uh, what is ultimate good for the human society? Ultimate good. There is a good and ultimate good. Atyantika means is something good we achieve, that beyond that nothing to achieve. Hmm. The first question. Then second question was, that tell us the essence of all the scriptures because this is Kali Yuga, Mandas Manda Mataya, Manda Bhagya Upadrita. People are very short span of life and our Vedic literature is so vast, so many things described. So please tell us the essence of Vedic literature, teachings, that what path so people should follow. 
by which the atma will be satisfied so this answer was this that the jad atma suprasadedi what is that path path is jatto bhaktir adhachchad then third question was please tell us why krishna appeared as son of devaki and vasudev and fourth question please tell us describe us about the glorious activities of all different incarnations the sixth question that is the fifth fourth then fifth question was tell us about the creation of this material maya how maya creates yoga maya maha maya then final question was please tell us when krishna leaves this planet the dharma takes place takes shelter of what so these six questions were asked as all of you know the bhagavatam deals with eight uh, with 10 kinds of subject matters atra sarga visargascha sthanam poshanam utaya mannantara isanukatha nirodha mukti ashraya 10 subject matter it is called as dasam lakshan vishishta srimad bhagavatam 10 subject matter been described in the srimad bhagavatam on the basis of the question and uh, asked by saunagrasi these are the six questions so the answer one answer was given by sabai punsa paradharma that is what we discussed yesterday how many of you were there in the temple yesterday many new devotees are here okay good <laughs> any will read bhagavatam will understand everything <laughs> how many of you have bhagavatam in your house who does not have bhagavatam in his house who does not have everyone is very good who uh, oh, you don't have one two okay so you should take krishna to your house because bhagavata in college of krishna does not come krishna is called trijuga his name he doesn't descend that's why when sutta goswami was asked when krishna left where the dharma took shelter of dharma kang sarangata <coughs> so answer sutta goswami saying कृष्ण सुधाम अवगते धर्म ज्ञानाधिवीस कलोनष्ट दृशामेश पुराण को धनदित हर कृष्ण लेफ्ट टू सुधाम हिज ओन अबड हि लेफ्ट उथ ज्ञान धार धर्म कलिज पीपुल दे लस्ट दर भिजन सो हाउ कैन दे सी कलोनष्ट दृशामेश एस पुराण अर्क अधुना उदित सो ना द कृष्ण कैम इन फर्म अफ दिस भागवत महापुराण पुराण और कर्क मीन सूर्य द सन गड पुराण का धुना उदित सो दिस चैप्टर टू डेस्क्राइब्स द डिवाइनिटी एंड डिफोशनल सर्विस आज यू नो प्रभुपाधा सेड वन हाज टू फास्ट रीड भगवत गीता टू अंडरस्टैंड हाँ to understand krishna is god when you fully accept krishna is bhagwan then you have adhikar then you are qualified to read bhagavatam that's a first word before study of bhagavatam you have to chant that krishna is bhagwan what is that mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya the son of vasudeva vasudeva is bhagwan i offer my obeisances then you start reading shrimad bhagavatam so the first thing sutta gosam describing the greatness of this bhakti sabai punsa para bhakti ha uh, para bhakti param para param sublime the supreme ha uh, the para bhakti the sublime सबाईपुषा पुनसा परो धर्म आई स्टार्ट डिस्क्राइब यू हैव मेनी मेनी धर्म भागवत डज नट डील विथ धर्म भागवत डज नट डील विथ धर्म 
दर से बिगिनिंग भागवत सिंह धर्म जित भागवत किक्स आउट धर्म धर्म अर्थ काम मुख्य किक आउट ऑफ भागवतम भागवत स्टार्ट विथ परम धर्म ऑल अदर लिटरेचर्स दे गिव ए प्रोसेस यू फॉलो यू रीच योर गोल बट भागवत स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रीचिंग द गोल भक्ति ऑल अदर देर इज ए प्रोसेस देर इज ए गोल एंड देर इज ए प्रोसेस टू रीच द गोल बट भागवत भक्ति दैट द गोल इज फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग यू स्टार्ट विथ द गोल इन भक्ति जोगिनी इन कर्म कांड यू डू यज्ञ दिस दैन यू गो टू हेवेनली प्लानेट्स इन ज्ञान कांड यू प्राक्ट ज्ञान देन यू गो टू ब्रह्म ज्योति इन ध्यान यू प्राक्ट अष्टांग जग यू रियलाइज परमात्मा द प्रोसेस एंड आचिवमेंट डिफरेन्ट बट भक्ति जग प्रोसेस एंड आचिवमेंट सेम हियर यू आर स्वीपिंग टेम्पल कुकिंग एंड ड्रेसिंग देर यू गो डू द सेम थिंग इज नो डिफरेन्स दैट इज द ब्यूटी अफ भक्ति जग सो वासुदेव भगवती भक्ति जग प्रयोजित जनयति आशु वैराग्य ज्ञान चद अहेतुक ब्यूटी ऑफ भक्ति इज दैट वी डोंट हैव टू सेपरेटली एंड फर ट्राए फर नॉलेज एंड डिटैचमेंट नॉलेज एंड डिटैचमेंट विल ऑटोमेटिकली मैनिफेस्ट विद इन अस by engaging by rendering devotional service unto the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna one immediately acquires causeless mercy ahetukam causeless knowledge and detachment from the world bhagavad gita krishna saying rasa varjang rasa pyasya param dushta nivartante then bhakti such a thing it gives a higher test in your life so that uh, easily somebody can give up the lower test of this material sense gratification by getting the higher test so all other process you have to struggle to give sense gratification but bhakti yoga you don't have to struggle to give sense gratification by engaging in bhakti yoga you are getting better sense gratification people that think ah oh to become iskon devotee is very difficult ah get up early morning ah give up these things there's no sense gratification but actually if you analyze your sense gratification life starts when you become devotee <laughs> yeah <laughs> devotional life real sense gratification <laughs> i give this example in india ए डिवोटि फैमिली एंड ए नॉन डिवोटि फैमिली बिकॉज पीपल आर वेरी वेरी अफ्रेड ऑफ ओ यू बिकम इज हरे कृष्ण यू हैव टू गेट अप वेरी अर्ली मॉर्निंग ओ दैट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट वी वांट टू स्लीप मोर लॉन्गर टाइम द बेस्ट टाइम ऑफ द डे इज ब्रह्म मुहूर्त एंड इवनिंग टाइम इज वट इज इवनिंग टाइम इन शिव मुहूर्त मर्णिंग टाइम ब्रह्म मुहूर्त इवनिंग शिव मुहूर्त शिव मुव्स अराउंड along with all ghosts so ghosts are very active when evening ka time comes and early morning and all muni rishis are very active and that time anything you do early morning brahma murta you get perfect result yes very good early morning spiritual material whatever you do anything you do is good so that is one reason hi early morning you like to sleep very much also that also very good <laughs> sleeping early morning is <laughs> good so the point is but that time they sleep no outside people but devotees sleeping they enjoy also but devotees outside people they think oh it's so austere so difficult but devotees the whole whole family get up walk up take bath clean cloth ओके नाइस फ्रेश हाँ फ्रेश मेन्टाली वेरी वेरी फिल वेरी फ्रेश देन दे ओपन द कटन फास्ट थिंग दे सी द डे इट इज सो ब्यूटिफुल फर आई इज ब्यूटिफुल थिंग टू सी देन दे ऑफर 
इनसेंस नाइस स्मेलिंग राइट देन नाइस मृदंग करता टिंग 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 संसार दबाला नाइस इयरिंग से लाइक दिस देन आर दे एंड द नाइस प्रसाद वन कैंड ऑफ सेंस गेटिफिकेशन एंड कॉर्मी पीपुल हट इज देंस गेटिफिकेशन दे विल स्लीप विद द चिल्ड्रेन्स एंड वाइफ अफ टू नाइन ओ क्लॉक टेन ओ क्लॉक देन हम दिल वर्क अप ऑल विथ सोलन फेस सलाइव आर कमिंग बैड स्मेल हेयर ऑल स्कैटर्ड राइट हेयर यू सी वाट यू सी आज गेट अप यू सी ब्यूटिफुल डेटी नाइस बैकग्राउंड एंड हेयर यू सी नाइस इनसेंस स्मेल नाइस बैड ब्रिथ स्मेल देन देन चाइल्ड स्टार्ट टू क्राए or sometimes early morning husband wife will start quarreling so that is the sansar da man starts <laughs> <laughs> so to analyze so real sense gratification uh, takes place when you become devotee real sense so that happens by bhakti parang dushta nivartante sindhi said devotion life uh, parang dushta nivart by getting higher taste easily uh, they give up so immediately acquire the causeless knowledge that ahitukam jnanam janayati asu vairagyam jnanam ca jat ahitukam but detachment this is how the devotee very easily uh, they can become detached so sometimes the devotees after our devotion life they drifted away from devotion life why because they don't relate or they don't take advantage of the higher sense gratification if we remain attached taking krishna prasad taking krishna darshan hearing nice sweet kirtan and we meditate upon all these topics then our attachment will increase just like i am telling about to me myself when we uh, do guru puja we are singing shri guru charana padma kula are you meditating what we are singing i hardly meditate i just sing you know but what i'm talking i don't meditate sometimes i realize so the early morning i woke up all kinds of thoughts comes when you are in bathroom you know what will happen today not bad things good things for krishna do pandal program or go for this you know build on whatever it is so that thoughts comes to you thinking 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 you go for mangalarti you standing chanting sansar damarla or all sansar damarla is finished but you have not seen the god's face till that because you think something i have realized it then i remember oh, i have to see the radha madhav now <laughs> then i have to bring back my mind to focus on radha madhav <laughs> so that is how the non devotee like me if i see krishna in front of me i don't see the real devotees they see everything but they don't see stavara jangam dekhe na dekhe tar murti sarvatra hai tar ishta dev smriti they will see mountain they will see house they will see tree but everything krishna they will see but even if for us krishna in front of us we don't see krishna so that's why जो भक्ति एंगेज इन डिवोशनल सर्विस इफ यू ऑलवेज कीप कीपिंग इन लिंक रिलेटिंग आवर सेल्फ टू द प्रसादम रिलीसिंग द प्रसादम रिलीसिंग द कीर्तन रिलीसिंग द कीर्तन रिलीसिंग द प्रसादम रिलीसिंग मीन्स वी हैव टू एंगेज आवर सेंसेस रियली इन सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन If you don't focus, concentrate on kirtan on holy name, you are not enjoying it. We are taking prasadam. You have to release the prasadam. No, I have seen his journey to Jayapata Maharaj. He really released prasadam. <laughs> Sometimes he has many, many, many items. He is very sick now, but many items will be there in front of him. So, in terms of restrictions, and he will be releasing every items. No. And even if the flight goes away, no problem. He doesn't bother. <laughs> Eating time, nobody disturbs. <laughs> release, you know. So, so like that, we have to we have to learn how to release the devotional aspect. It's always satisfying our senses. 
if you don't know that art of satisfying our senses by releasing the devotional part, then of course our senses will be going here and there. Releasing the association of devotee, releasing the kirtan, releasing the katha, uh, releasing the prasadam, so many varieties of things are there to engage or uh, to engage to keep our senses engaged uh, in a satisfying mode. But that has to be we have to practice in that way. Superficially we do. That is the reason one day we drifted away because we are not getting the higher test. <laughs> so we drifted away from this. <laughs> So that is what uh, Janati Asya Vairagyam Jnanam Chajat Ahitakam. Then Sutta Gacham is saying, Dharma Sonistita Punsa Vishakshana Katha Sojaha. He is telling about, we are doing all our duties. Dharma Sonistita Punsa Vishakshana Katha Sojaha Na Utpadayate Jatirati Sramai Vahi Kavalam. Raya Ramananda and Chaitanya Mahapuru met in Godavari. Uh, bank of Godavari. So Mahaprabhu asked Padasloka Sadhara Nirnaya, please quote a verse, speak to me uh, what is the goal of life, what is the sadhya, the sadhana and sadhya. Sadhya means goal, sadhana means process. Then Raya Ramananda said that by accepting Sodharma Charane, Vishnu Bhakti Hai. By engaging in your occupational duty, you will develop bhakti unto Krishna. But Mahapur said, Iha bhajja agya kahavar. This is external. By engaging in devotional service, what do we get? Why Mahapur said, Iha bhajja? Bhajja means? External. And external to what? What is internal and what is external? So, Raramananda saying, Sodharma Charana Vishnu Bhakti hai, by engaging in our occupational duty, you will develop bhakti. So, by engaging in occupational duty, by following Varna and Ashram, where you go to? What is your destination? Upper planetary. Upper planetary systems. If you have a strict grihastha following, strictly grihastha rules and regulations, you go to Sargalaka. And the scriptures describes Grihastha Ashram, the duty of Grihastha Ashram. If you read it, then you will understand none of your Grihasthas. <laughs> Same thing goes for Brahmachari Sannyasi also. <laughs> yes. If Sannyasi rules regulations, then none of us are Sannyasi. <laughs> Out of many, many rules and regulations for Grihasthas, one rule is, of course, it will not apply for America because all. Shastra is meant for India, not for Americans. <laughs> so India is a place for practicing uh, the spiritual life, not America, Europe. You know why? Because India, 12 hours night, 12 hours day. <laughs> India, you can have time for Brahma, Gai, Brahma Murta. America, there is no Brahma Murta. <laughs> Sometimes, see, 3 o'clock, sun rises, or 10 o'clock, Sun is there, so how will do Brahma Gayatri? <laughs> so does not suit. The point is, that's why it has been described that what we have to do. What I was telling, I drifted to Brahma Murta. Ah, Grihastha, yeah. Out of many, many rules, it has been described the Grihasthas, they should cook. Then they will go outside the door and ask loudly, is there anybody who has not eaten anything? <laughs> so anybody who have not eaten anything, they will come, feed them. Then when you again go announce, when nobody comes, then you eat only. <laughs> so that is Grihastha duty. <laughs> so how many Grihastha are doing that? <laughs> of course you are free from that problem because you have no beggars here in America. <laughs> that will call on them. No, no. So I am just giving this very perfectly for the Grihastha Ashram. Then you go to Sargalaka. Strictly Urdharata Brahmachari. And go to Janalaka. Then Banaprastha, go to Maharlaka. Then Sannyas, go to Satyalaka. So Mahapur said, Iha Bajya, <coughs> this is external. Why is external? 
because you're you're way away man long distance away from central point central point is satya lok ah satya lok krishna no golok bindava we are very far we are external that is internal spiritual world center and we are external in material world so you you do your varnashram dharma occupational duty properly then you will be elevated to this area only no that's why uh, when you have bajja so is written there krishna das kabir so saying dharma sonishtita punsa vishakshana katha so jo one may be engaged in occupational duty varnashram dharma very perfectly विश्वक्षण कथा सुज न उत्पादयत जाति रति इफ ही हाज नट डेभलप ट्रस्ट अन् हरि कथा विश्वक्षण कथा देन डु नट प्रोभक अट्राक्शन फर द मेसेज अफ द पर्सनालीट अफ गड हेड देन श्रम इभ केवल यूजलेस लेवल सो द मेन गोल अफ आर लाइफ इज टू डेभलप द ट्रस्ट फर हरि कथा That's why Krishna is saying, "What is the real sense gratification? What is the real sense gratification of life? Is matchita, madgata, prana, bodhanti, parasparam, kathanti, chamangnitam, tushanti, charamanti, charamanti. My devotees, where from they derive the real pleasure? Matchita, madgata, prana. When my devotees they come together." कथांत मांगनीतंग दे डिस्कस अबाउट मी इन दिस वे दे एंजॉय सो दैट इज द बेस्ट सेंस गैटिफिकेशन दिस बेस्ट सेंस गैटिफिकेशन फॉर डिफोट इज आज सुन द कम टुगेदर दे डिस्कस अबाउट दैट साइट इज बीन ब्रह्मा सेंग इन इज प्रेयर्स नमांतव जीवंती सन्मुखरीतांगवदीय वार्ता स्थान स्थितांग श्रुतिगतांग तनुवांग मन भी प्रायश ही अजित अजित दोज डिभट इज क्या कंकर दैट अजित भगवान क्या बी कंकर्ड अनकंकरेबल भगवान क्या बी कंकर्ड बै दोज पीपुल दोज डिभट इज दोज दे आर ज्ञान प्रयास मुदपास नमंतव जीवंती सन्मुखरीतांगवदीय वार्ता दे आर नट इंटरेस्टेड आकुमुलेटिंग सो मच नलेज they don't want to become big pandit gyane prayasam mudapascha the root of this endeavor but namanta va jibanti the jibanti means the leave happen namanta va jibanti sanmukharitang bhavadiya varta bhavadiya varta means katha about you your subject matter hearing from the mouth of the pure devotee sat satmukha uh, satsanga so this is the process of sense gratification recommended by vedic literatures recommended by krishna so in your life we if we are not promoting ourselves to that level of sense gratification it is very difficult when krishna katha going on you don't fall sleepy it's not so easy <laughs> no it's not so easy now you have to really struggle <laughs> You have to really struggle to stay awake. <laughs> But the test is when you get test for it, then you don't fall asleep. No, then you don't fall asleep. <laughs> so he is saying, "No, utpada de jati rati shrama hai kavalam. Whatever we may do, But until unless uh, we have come to this level, that whenever we come together, we discuss the glories. That is sense gratification. When we hear about to sada goswami rupa goswami sanatan goswami ragna in vrindavan so austere life so hot so cold in vrindavan nowadays all our western devotees they go to vrindavan ha uh, to do hari bhajan aaj na jo may june month come they all run away from there it's too hot there they can't stay there they but that time no too hot too cold we may think wow they are doing so much austerities huh they must be going through so much austerities what are they going through so much austerities they are not going through austerities because they are all all busy engaged no they are all engaged discussing writing so many nice nice books just imagine this na ananda vrindavan champu gopal champu those books we read now that gives so much pleasure 
and they are contemplating and writing that. Would they be affected by any hot, heat or cold and hunger and thirst? It will all run away. No, it will run away. So that is the sense gratification. So the goal of life is we have to promote ourselves. We are, in, we are enjoying from so much material activities, you are enjoying from so much spiritual activities, you are enjoying from so much devotional activities. But at one point it will come that we cannot do anything. Isn't it? Starting with deity worship, we cannot do deity worship, we cannot stand up, we cannot do cooking. Right? We cannot do anything. We just lie on the bed. What will we do that time? How we keep ourselves engaged? Huh? Uh, remembering. remembering and hearing Krishna Katha and remembering. So that is the process. That uh, I am always worried we are not getting I am not getting taste of Krishna Katha. What will happen? We have become sick. <laughs> and it is not so easy to remember Krishna also. Right? We may say we remember Krishna. It is not so easy to remember Krishna. <laughs> no. That's why King Kula Sakra is saying. Prana prana samaya kapabata pita kantha varudha kutha smaranam te. How can you remember you? It's not so easy kutha smaranam te. At the time of death when kantha varudha, your throat will be choked with kapabata pita. Kutha smaranam te. How can I remember you? It's not so easy. Time of death is very painful. Right? You know how much painful? Anybody knows? Ah, how many scorpions? 40,000. Yeah, I heard from my mom 10,000, but now I am hearing 40,000. <laughs> but doesn't make any difference. 10,000 to 40,000, if you want scorpion, bites you. Any, anybody has got that sauhagya, good fortune? <laughs> One person, I have got also, because I am from village. He's in our house. We live with nature, you know, scorpions, snakes, rats, everything are there, cockroaches. <laughs> so, so the point is, uh, Lord Krishna is saying that at the time of death, if somebody remembers me, janti uh, madhbhavam nastyata sansraya, then somebody will say, oh, very good. At the time of death, I just do Hare Krishna. All problems solved. But you cannot remember. <coughs> 40,000 scorpion biting <coughs> that pain. Uh, and we have experienced now. Nah? If sometimes we get a headache, fever, some problems, then we put our beat bag in parking lot. <laughs> nah? Okay, tomorrow I'll do. So I think if this much pain, we can't afford to chant. And 40,000 scorpions biting, <laughs> how can we afford to chant? Kudasmaramte. Only by the sweet will of Krishna, He will appear within our mind. Being merciful upon us, remembering, thinking, oh, this poor fellow has done so much for me, right? He has tolerated so much trouble for me, so many sleepless nights he has spent for me, right? To do so much. So he will feel, oh, no, let me appear. <coughs> Sometimes I think, we think we can't remember Krishna. Can you remember Krishna? Can you fix your mind? For how many hours you can fix your mind on Krishna? It's very difficult. My experience is, I'll tell you, I should not, uh, um, I should be free. I can't f fix my mind on Krishna so much. Few minutes go jai. In chanting also, chanting, chanting, fixing, and after 5, 10, 20 times, unknowingly mind gone somewhere else. Are you feeling like that or only unfortunate person like me? His <laughs> mind goes away, automatically goes away. You know? Then I think <coughs> that is, this is not abnormal. This is not abnormal. Because your mind is material. Mind, body, mind is material. How through material mind you can keep a spiritual subject matter steady, fixed? So, Lord can be remembered only by sweet will if He appears within our mind. Lord will appear, but when He sees our effort, our struggle, then one day by sweet will He will appear. Then He will not go away. But until that we have to struggle, we have to struggle. 
he'll go I again pull him back he'll go I again pull him back you know? <laughs> that's why I tell that also draw the attention of Krishna no uh, we're struggling Krishna is looking at us or not looking at us he, he must be watching now the Paramahansa their mind is fixed without any deviation they're chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna so Krishna is favorable to them so we cannot fix our mind Krishna is looking at us or not looking at us uh, he must be watching from there Radharani must be telling to Krishna to see the poor fellow struggling so much for us. <laughs> so the point is, in Bhakti Yoga, the Prema Bhakti means your struggle is a, your achievement. By through struggle you are showing your love. So it's not like that you do something, you will get love of God at some time. We are getting love of God at now. <coughs> that is in why you are struggling. Our struggle is the symptoms of our love for Krishna. So that's why it is sadhana and siddhi. Bhakti Yoga Sadhana Nisiddhi simultaneously takes place. Otherwise, no utpade de jatirati shramai vahi kavalam. See, useless labor. The occupational activities a man performs according to his own position are only so much useless labor if they do not provoke the attraction for the message of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So that's why Raya Ramananda is saying, First he said, so dharma charana vishnu bhakti hai, then he is saying, krishna karma arpana sarva siddhi hai. So one is, sakam varna sarama, just do your duty according to scriptures, and this is niskam varna sarama, engage in devotional service. Then Sutta Goswami clarifying about dharma, dharma sahi apavargasya nartha artha upakalbate, People are engaged in doing dharma. What for they do dharma? Why people they do dharma? To get artha. Yesterday I described now. And when you get artha, economic development, Come. and what do you do? Come. Oh, I was thinking they are all going to give donation to ISKCON. <laughs> <laughs> they engage in kama. Dharma, artha, kama. Then kama will never give you satisfaction. No jat, kama, kama, upabhagyan, sammate. By Kami Purusha, by engaging in sense gratification, his desire for sense gratification will never be subdued. It will burn more and burn, then he will get fed up. Okay, I want liberation. So, he is saying, Dharma Sai Apabargasya. The purpose of Dharma is not Artha Artha Yopakalpate. The purpose of Dharma is not Artha. The purpose of Dharma is Apabarga. You know what is Apabarga? Apabarga. Apabarga means liberation. Pabarga means this material lot of papa, babha, ma. You do lot of parishram, then then fena, then foam comes from mouth. Papa, ba, baj, bertha, no, bertha, bertha. Bertha means baffled, ba. Bha is bhai. Ma, mrtu, death. After that, ja. Ja, Jamaraj. So, Dharma is Apavargas and Artha Artha Upakalpate. The purpose of Dharma is not Artha Upakalpate. Apavarga, Nartha is Dharma Ikanta is Kama Labhaya Isprita. All occupational engagements are certainly meant for ultimate liberation. It's talking about ultimate liberation, Atyantika Mukti. What is Atyantika Mukti? Atyantik liberation, ultimate liberation, mukti or freedom has different definitions. In your childhood, when you go to school, the school is like a jail khana for us. So all our teachers will come big, big lathi. Nowadays, no problem. The children are making joke with their teachers. But our childhood time is not like that. As soon as 4 o'clock bell will ring, Wow, liberation we got. <laughs> For a student, that is liberation. <laughs> then we run with him. That time we had no backpack, we have a bastani, you know, some bag <laughs> around the house. Wow, liberation. When you go to your house, that time we want to listen to radio, there's no TV. Radio, read novel books, dictative books. 
then if father is there in their house, you know, big trouble then. <laughs> Mother we can manage no problem. <laughs> but sometimes father goes out of the house, wow, oh, now I've got liberation. <laughs> now no more father is there. <laughs> this one can have liberation. <laughs> or somebody that is sick, get free from sickness, is liberation. Five years sentence to be stay in prison house, out of prison house is a liberation, uh, up over go. <laughs> then India was ruled by British, and British left, oh, India got independence. So, so many different levels of liberation, or we become free uh, from this uh, Martya Loka, go to Sargo Loka, it's liberation. And from Sargo Loka, somebody go to Brahma Jyoti, it's liberation, uh, Sajujya Mukti. Then somebody go to Vaikuntha, that is liberation. So which liberation is the topmost liberation? Huh? And all they have to go like Vrindavan. So that is uh, it is talking about. Hmm? The ultimate liberation. They should never be performed from material gain. Furthermore, according to suggest one who is engaged in the ultimate occupational service should never use material gain to cultivate sense gratification. Yeah. So in this way, Kama Labhai Smrita, this is not for Kama but always for Prema. What is the definition of Prema? What is the definition of Prema? What is the definition of Kama? Ah, yes, yes. Atmendriya Priti Chha Tare Bale Kam, Krishnendriya Priti Vancha Dhare Prema Naam. To serve ourselves is Kama, to serve Krishna is Prema. In material world we derive pleasure by taking things from the people. But spiritual world they derive uh, pleasure by giving to others, by giving to others. So we learn that we give, that is Prema Bhakti, a Sakam Bhakti, Niskam Bhakti and a Prema Bhakti. I described yesterday. What is Sakam Bhakti? Huh? What is Sakam Bhakti? Krishna, you give me. What is Niskam Bhakti? What is Niskam Bhakti? No Whether you give or don't give, no problem. And what is Prema Bhakti? I will. I will give you. Three things you remember in Bhakti. Sakam Bhakti, Niskam Bhakti and Prema Bhakti. Prema Bhakti means we will give to God. Jaisal Prabhupada ki, Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Gaur Pramanandi. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.